I feel like one of the superpowers that I've gained as a result of my transition is the ability to build my own reality. I feel like I've been able to craft the world around me into a version of reality that I want it to be. So I've changed my gender, and at the beginning of this journey that was such a frightening, intimidating thought, and I was so doubtful. Can I do this? Is this actually practical? Am I going to be successful at all? Am I just going to make a fool out of myself? Am I going to lose everything? And I think that through some luck, actually a lot of luck, and through a lot of hard work, that I was actually able to to build this reality that I am a woman, and I do have friends and supporters that, you know, that are not running away from me because I'm trans. So I guess there are parts of my reality that I didn't build because I suppose I can't aff- I can't control people's reactions and I couldn't really predict people's reactions, but I could put positive energy into into coming out to people. And um, so with that in mind, I feel like the depression that I've been through lately has been a sort of purging where I've been looking at where I've come and I've been looking at what I've accomplished and what I still have to accomplish and how I'm going to accomplish the things that are still left. And just I've been thinking about this a lot, just evaluating, just think, just trying to think about why was I getting so depressed? Why was I getting suicidal? Why have I been just feeling so upset? Um, and I think that it's just been, been my, my body and my mind rejecting my current life. It's been my body and my mind saying, this is not good enough. This is great progress, but this is not good enough. And I had to think, why? What's not good enough? What's the problem? And the result that I've, the conclusion that I've come to is that I don't want to live in Denmark anymore. I don't want to stay here. I miss my family. I miss my friends in the States. And I feel like it's time to go back. So when I first moved here, it was largely for my job, but it was also to transition. I felt like I'm just going to run off to Europe and become a woman, and then I'll come back all victorious. And I feel like I've accomplished that as much as I can here. I disappeared for a long time from my hometown. I went through a lot of challenge, a lot of Um, adversity. I've had to seek wisdom inside myself in about things that I never thought I would have to. I've had to evaluate how important is this transition to me and what kind of life do I want to live? And I am, I feel like I've grown as much as I can grow here. And so I decided to move back. I'm going to be moving back to Seattle this fall. I'm going to be leaving Denmark. And, um... (laughs) It's been a big decision for me. And it's been very wide-reaching. Um... Because I've established a life here. I, I have a network of people that I know, friends and supporters and organizations. And a band that I play in, and all these things are dependent, really, on my living here. And so, I feel like I can't, I can't win, because I'm going to be, I'm going to be starting a new transition, where I'm going to be leaving this culture, leaving these people, and I don't know if I'll ever come back. I'd like to. I like Copenhagen. I like Denmark. I've enjoyed my life here. But I don't 
want to live here anymore. I don't want to settle down here. I don't want to raise a family here. I want to do that in my home country. So now it means leaving the band. Um, or at least not being able to play in the same room with them unless there's some flights involved. And it also means my job is going to be affected. So I'm not, um, I'm not sure what's going to happen for me and work um, when, I'm, when I move. That's a big question. And it's horribly scary to think about. In a lot of ways, facing this transition of moving my home, moving my life, has been very familiar and very similar to a lot of the feelings that I had at the beginning of my gender transition. It was like, at the beginning of my gender transition, which started because I lost my relationship, so the woman I was going to marry and I were no longer together all of a sudden after five years, and I had so many questions about what can I do you know, for this transition. What is this all about? I don't, I didn't know anything. I had never met a trans person before. I was super, you know, I was, I was like, why am I ruining my life for this fantasy? It's just a fantasy. It's probably never going to be successful or real anyway. So why would I, why would I say goodbye to the woman I love over a pipe dream? And I feel very similar now where I'm basically walking away from a life that I built. And it's a life that I built in a country instead of a life that I built with a person. And I don't know what the end result is going to be moving back. Maybe I'm going to move back and I'm going to be really unhappy, even more unhappy. In which case, maybe I'll think about coming back here. You know, just like my gender transitions. Like, well, I'm going to step forward, I'm going to try to be a woman. And if it feels good, then I'll keep going. But if I don't like it, I'm going to have to stop and figure things out again. And that's where I'm at now. So, the good news is that going through my gender transition and facing the things that I've faced have really helped me get prepared for what this is all going to be about. So I've had lots of similar emotions, lots of confusion and fear and, and criticism, like, is this really the right thing? Uh, you know, think about everything I'm giving up. And I know now that the answers don't come all at once. And I can't even make a, lots of decisions very quickly. This kind of thing takes time and a lot of thought and a lot of evaluation and a lot of learning and, you know, just thinking about it for a long time because there's a lot involved. You know, I have two cats. I have to figure out what's going to happen with them. Um, you know, I want to go forward with, with booking my SRS, which means I need a few thousand dollars, and if, I'm, if my job situation is up in the air, then I don't even know how I'm going to pay for SRS. And uh, so there's just, you know, it's a big risk. And so I, I guess I don't have much advice to offer in this video, it just, just experience, really. It's just, I've gone through this. So it's not as scary as it was three years ago. I know now that it's going to be hard. I know that it's going to be full of difficult decisions. And I'm letting myself take the time that I need to make them. So that's all for tonight. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.